Hello, welcome to some more exciting Tesla news. We're talking about the new secret master plan between you and me part two that Elon Musk just posted. It's really cool. Tesla truck, ride sharing, and a bunch of other vehicles. If you're not familiar with the secret master plan between you and me that Elon Musk posted 10 years ago, it was basically an outline for Tesla and what they were planning to do. And at the time, they didn't have anything out yet. He was thinking, you know, they'll start out and they'll make a, a really expensive car in low quantities. They didn't have a factory or anything, so that's, they didn't have the economies of scale. So basically they had to make a really expensive car just to kind of fund the development of a more affordable car. So that was the Roadster. And then the next one was the Model S. And then the Model X was modified from the platform of the Model S. Ultimately, the sales from those vehicles allowed them to make the Model 3, which is coming out next year and is going to be the first truly affordable 200 mile range vehicle that you could like travel across the nation on. The plan's kind of over. Um, the last thing that he had in his plan, interestingly enough, though, was provide solar power. And that was actually in the blog post from 10 years ago. So in Elon Musk's part two of his secret master plan that he just published, he outlines that they want to make Solar City like part of Tesla. So they want to merge it and they want to create a stunning solar roof with seamless integrated battery storage. He also addressed a bunch of other things in the top part. He, like he summarized the first blog post. He also mentioned autopilot. It would be morally wrong not to keep developing autopilot or to turn it off because it is safer right now to have it on than to have it off and by disabling it it just it doesn't make any sense i mean it, it just keeps getting better and better and statistically you're safer with it on than off so he he feels that they need to keep moving forward with it it's just it's interesting you have to read the whole thing but here are some highlights from it uh in addition to the solar panel integration they also want to expand the electric vehicle product line to address all major segments which means a truck. They're going to do a truck, a Tesla truck. After that, they're also look, and they're going to unveil this like next year, which is crazy. But they want to do a regular truck. They want to do a heavy duty truck. They want to do a bus or buses. And they're talking about once they get the autonomous thing all figured out, and it's, it's going to be a while. They're, they're saying that the buses could be um, smaller, that they'd be more efficient because uh, they wouldn't have to stop and start the same way. And that you'd be able to summon them with buttons on light poles and if you didn't have a phone <laughs> and that the the drivers would be more like fleet managers and it's very interesting read it and comment below it, it sounds a little bit out there but it makes a lot of sense and this gets to more of the electric transportation for everybody he's also talking about semis you know f for driving product so yeah, he was saying that they want to develop self-driving capability that is 10 times safer than manual and massive fleet learning. And get this, uh, <laughs> they want to enable your car to make money for you when you're not using it. So once the autonomy is all figured out, they can, you go to work, they say you only use your car five to 10% of the, the time that you own it. Um, the rest of the time is just sitting around not doing anything. Well, it could go to work for you. So it could drop you off at work and then you could rent it out kind of like Uber and it could lower your payment on your car by giving other people rides during the day while you're at work and come back and get you, which is awesome. <laughs> it's, and in high density areas, they're talking about just putting out their own fleet. Maybe like San Francisco or New York, you know, you don't even have a parking spot, but Tesla, you could just order a Tesla on demand to come pick you up and take you wherever. So you wouldn't actually own the Tesla. Faraday Future is kind of hinting at the same thing so I wouldn't be surprised at all if that's just kind of the way the future's looking. Very, very cool stuff. Um, let me know what you guys think below. As far as the week of news, almost the whole week since my last post was all about Elon posting on Twitter saying, I'm working on the secret master plan. My end of my week is on Sunday, so I'll have it out by the end of the week, but not until Sunday. And then on Sunday, he was saying that, well, I got... Um, this rocket launch going on so I'll, I'll, I'll work on it on Monday and then on Monday he's like well I gotta I gotta do work on the Model 3 and autopilot 
I'm gonna pull an all-nighter and I'll have it done tonight. And then in the morning, he's like, I'm working on it, I'll have it out by five. And the, at the time of recording, this came out uh, a little after five. So it was, it was, <laughs> it came out. Um, this is like the biggest news that they've, they've really released in terms of what they're planning to do in 10 years. A lot of it, people have been speculating and hinted at, but now it's official. This is the plan. Tesla is going to make all kinds of electric vehicles, not just, you know, a sedan and an SUV. They're also going to make the smaller SUV. Interestingly enough, though, he said they aren't planning on making a lower cost version of the Model 3 because he had said that before. Instead, he said, if you look at the, the bottom part of the master plan, it'll make more sense. So if you, if you couldn't afford a $35,000 vehicle uh, in the future, you won't really need to buy a vehicle. You just, you know, use an app and, you, you know, use the cars that are around you. Or, you know, a bus, the buses, the electric buses. So there's lots of cool things going on here. Thank you for tuning in. I'll post um, more news as it comes through. Let me know what you think. Uh, I appreciate any, any comments. Um, oh, the referral program. I totally forgot about the refer referral program. The last referral program ended and a new one started. The new one is the same prizes as the last one, except there's no Gigafactory invite anymore because that's happening um, next week. But the, the, if, you, if, you get t if a Tesla owner gets 10 referrals, they'll get an invite to the next event which may be the Model 3 Part 2, or maybe the trucks that they're gonna um, unveil next year. Well, it'll be interesting to see. Maybe it'll all be one event. Pretty, pretty, pretty interesting. Um, so anyways, I have five more referrals available. It hasn't been clear on how it's working, but it looks like they're kind of carrying over the number from last time, but they increased the number to 10 maximum. So I've got five more available if you want to use my code below. You can save $1,000 on a Tesla Model S or Model X. Uh, any of the inventory cars if you don't want to wait around to get them. Pretty, pretty exciting stuff. Please subscribe. See you guys next week. Come out and play! Uh, like when they do music videos and, and there's a beat and it kind of goes blurry. Like, you know, like, like with the bass. Like, <laughs>